Good morning, Turtle Club. How's it going? It is Sunday morning after daylight savings time at 6 a.m. This is going to be a special little arc stream. We've been doing these at 7 a.m. Uh, on Eastern Standard Time, and now we're on Eastern Daylight Time, or I may have that reversed. Um, but the point is, is that those people that are expecting the stream to start now I didn't want them to miss it the first time that it happens going forward we will be streaming this stream an hour later than what it is right now that's because the United States specifically where I live in Georgia observes this old tradition where people wanted to wake up when it was daylight and they wanted the clock to represent the same time and they wanted people to basically be able to you know seem normal uh, those that are in the rural areas who were in a farming community and farming mentality specifically or outdoor work specifically and so we make our clock go back and forth not a lot of the world does that anymore um, but basically because our country is so large about the size of Australia uh, give or take a couple hundred miles uh, depending on who you ask um, they had this system in place nationwide to help people feel normal um, and it, it messes with people it it messes with a lot of people I'm, I'm technically not being messed with because I stayed awake during all of it um, but a lot of people are going to be you know getting getting up a little later or getting up a little earlier than what they really should be uh, some people are going to miss work today. Some people are going to get to work early. It's you know it it's a bit of a mess, but uh, end result for all the people in the Turtle Club is you guys are going to get an extra hour of work today, and uh, you know that's that's pretty cool. I, I'm uh... now I was kind of concerned with this. I don't know if this turbine is going to work because I have this over here all right let me go ahead and pick these up now we're, we're doing our giant barge build and if I have to yeah there it goes Ugh. okay so this thing has to basically believe it is outdoors so we will we will do all sorts of things to this to pretend like it's outdoors um, and don't really care for that restriction, but I get it. I get it. Technically, it's not outdoors because it had its blades available, but you know, arc is arc. <laughs> so their their definition of outside is the the base of the unit has to be outside. Um, this is our big base. You know, every time we go on an ARC server, every time we play on an ARC server, uh, when we get to a, a point of what, what I've been told is called castling, uh, when we find the place we really want to be, we go big. We always go big. <clears throat> and this is our big base this time. And I, I'm going to show off a little bit of this, and we're going to be we're going to be doing some base building on it. And so. You're getting three hours of arc, but uh, I hate to say it this way, but two two of those hours are going to be actual like us goofing off and playing around, and one of them is going to be us uh, making some trips with our RG or not our RG, but our our wyvern and flying back and forth and getting stuff and all that kind of jazz. But so far, kind of a to give you an idea of what we're dealing with here this is two ocean platforms that have been even up right beside each other and I've been really disappointed with how these ocean platforms work they're cool and all don't get me wrong let's let's marvel at the fact that this is basically a giant non-moving boat and it's giant. I mean, it's big, bigger than big. It's it's enormous. Uh, I want to say it's like twenty-two. So it's three, six, and then 
2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So it's 18, it looks like 18 tiles across. Um, and so it's it's huge. It's it's completely ginormous, and so you get a lot of build area for what it is. But there are some restrictions. Uh, first and foremost, you cannot build past at all. Like no overhang, no ceiling, none of that. You can't build past it at all. Uh, so that's the first restriction, uh, which is rather irritating to to me. Um, second of all, you cannot build underneath more than three tiles once you get three tiles down uh, the game's like no mag you are you're, you're not deep enough you are you're way too far turn back abandon hope all you try to swim here um, but but I, I found some solutions to, to that problem they're, they're not the greatest solutions but I have found some uh, and I I think I think I got just enough uh, light and luck and a few other things to kind of show off what that is. And let's go into our little makeshift equipment room for right now. And we're going to grab, let's grab some fresh scuba tank and some slippers. Or flippers, alright. Put these on. Yes, we are hot. We know we're hot. We're gonna run, 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 run. And we're gonna show this, probably. Or we're gonna die, one of the two is gonna happen. So here's our solution to all this. And you know we're crazy enough, remember the Magmorial Bridge. This, yeah that's a shark down there. This right here is a stone pillar that goes all the way to the bottom of the ocean. Yep, there we go, Sharky, coming after us. And it can, we actually built it all the way up and we centered our platform on that. I don't see the shark coming up after us anymore, but he's, he's there, he's coming. And we may have We plan to make that a lot better eventually, that room. <laughs> but so, so we're gonna build all the way around with that. That that's our goal. We're we're going to completely encapsulate one of these ocean platforms, the main ocean platform. It's gonna be completely stone pillars everywhere you look, the whole way, one hundred percent. Uh, that's going to take a lot of stone. It's going to take a lot of wood. It's going to take a lot of thatch. It's going to take a lot of time. And it's going to take some luck. I, I won't lie. Uh, those those uh, those sharks, they, they absolutely like to eat me. And they're not very uh, pleasant people. But that is pretty much what we are building on at this moment. And we are... We're, we're making sure that this center area, we're going to keep it open like this. Because ideally, we want to have enough room for like two, maybe three wyverns. That ocean platform over there, it's not going to have a base like this built on it. It's going to be basically the stone ring all the way around. Um, it's going to have a place for us to park some dinos. And it's going to be kind of like where we could dock some boats more than anything and we have like the little front dock on this base and all in all it's not it's not a bad little build I, I'm, I'm happy with it so far but we do need to like get some more stairs and some more ceiling tiles how many ceiling tiles am I needing still um, because that was like that we need one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we need twelve ceiling tiles and a stair, and then the rest. And you'll see why I'm saying the rest with the words I'm using here. But the rest will be walls uh, that we're going to be building. And I'll show you how we've been doing this. Um, 
this whole entire time and it's it's not efficient there, there's way better ways to do this probably but we did tame us a dodigerous finally uh, she is a beaut uh, why did I feel oh that's just the flappy slam okay and we, we definitely want to get uh, some of our dinos off of this little island because occasionally a Diplo spawns and is really dangerous over here. <laughs> actually, I've, I've, I've actually signed in and I've had a couple of my dinos in the water. Uh, they haven't been hugged to death by the Diplo yet, but they got awfully close. They got closer than I would have liked them. I'll just put it that way. All right, so here's the Diplo. We're gonna get on the Diplo. Go underneath the wyvern. Come on, wyvern. And there, there's a number of things that are dangerous on on Dig Red Island. Uh, we are going to be leaving a couple of things over here before we completely leave it. Uh, we're not going to be totally abandoning it um, for lots of reasons. We're going to leave a little bitty kind of uh, cute base and maybe a flyer, something for Digret to get around on. If if we uh, if she winds up playing on here, we know she's going to want to be here, and she's not going to want to do anything other than just walk amongst the uh, <laughs> the otters. Um, we just had the 6 a.m. dino wipe, so many of you may be wondering where all the otters are. It's because they just have all been killed by the dino wipe command. But this is what we've been doing. Uh, the Dodecarus, by far the, the stone is the most important thing for what we're building out of. And so we just need to gather as much stone as we can. And once the Dodecarus is full up on stone, the next thing we do is we get out our, our pick in our axe and we get the thatch in the wood. But one thing we keep forgetting is when we're done doing this, Oh no, oh no, we got bugged out. Okay, so if you happen to have your dino produce like we just had, uh, yeah, we got plenty of wood, or thatch, we just need the wood, and we think we have some wood over here on this dude. Oh, your scarecrow. We've been collecting these as we go along. Uh, they can get bugged out and continue rolling. They're just rolling everywhere. All right, so grab that. And Lurk Squad and Turtle Club, thank you both for coming in today. Appreciate you all. Uh, this right here, of course, is our public server. Anybody who's a member of the Turtle Club in our Discord and is in good standing is free to join us and play with us. Uh, it is password protected to prevent the rest of the world from coming into our family-friendly environment. That's the only reason why there's a password on it, because we do want to make sure that people here are, are you know, they're safe. It's a safe environment. Um, but password is very easy to get a hold of and so far everybody that's been playing on this has been pretty cool we've only had to actually boot one person and they were a um i don't know exactly what they were in the grand scheme of things but they definitely were not family friendly all right so we need 11 of these We need a staircase, not a stair, but a stair. And then we just need to make all the walls we can. Now, ideally, we would probably have some kind of like blueprint for these things. And they would be in the Dodicarus's inventory so we could craft them faster and walk away. All right, that tells me that our choke point is not thatch for certain. And it's not uh, stone for absolute certain, it's the wood. And that's been kind of where it's been. But 
I haven't got any honey to tame a, a roll rat yet. I I went kind of hunting for it, but it all went poorly. Um, there are, well, if you look right here, there, there there's a couple blood stalkers nearby some of the honey areas. We can probably throw all that into his inventory and still be able to craft all the stuff we're crafting so far. Yeah, alright. And we got some stuff to be able to make things with wood, so we're going to go over here. And at some point during this stream, I'm thinking we need to try to get some more wyverns, because, uh, well, our wyverns are dead. <laughs> All but our fire wyvern. We, we had the level 1 poison wyvern, we had the level 1 frost wyvern. Um, they made it to, like, level 5, collectively. And they proceeded to get too big for their britches. They got attacked, and at one point I whistled them on the aggro, and uh, they're, they're both dead. Unfortunately, uh, let's see here. We just need more stone. And actually, what we'll probably need at some point is some more stairs. How many stairs can we make out of this? Seven. Let's make six. And I think the stone is what the problem is again. And we'll make, uh, yeah, we'll just, we'll just craft the rest of that. So all in all, uh, it's, it's, you know, you can tell it's a pretty big build. It's not, it's not a small build. It definitely is one of those things that's going to take a lot more effort than what we put into some things. Um, that huge castle building-ish over there, it, it's small. We've, we've definitely outgrown it. Um, and we're, we're going to be taking it down once we are, like I said, we're going to take most of it down. We're going to put a, a building down on the ground floor. There's nothing here that's really dangerous. Um, our last concern for how terrifying this area might have been was when arc events and the like happen. Why did I make ceiling tiles? Oh, for, for staircases, that's why. Um, that was my last concern, is like for the events, you know, Arc Fear Evolve does spawn special dinos, so there is some overrides. I, I was very concerned as to what might have been put over here. What is... Oh no. Um, how, 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 I don't even want to know. I don't even know. Is this my gotcha? I mean, it says it's my gotcha, but. How did we tame one? When did we tame one? Wow. I mean, like, I I'm double checking here. There's a gotcha tame that we intentionally tame. There's the other gotcha. All right, you just you just sort of like got tamed, and you've been slowly starving over here. Poor little dude, dude. It. Um, like, 
I know when I'm crafting stuff, I just drop things. So, you know, that that is something that kind of happens. Okay. I was... But... Hmm... Yeah, like, all right, so random just, because we dropped materials, gotcha just sort of wandered around and said, hey, sup, I think I'll follow you home. Passive taming at its best. All right, we're, we're trying to get you close enough to the trough so you can eat. There we go. You are the, you are big gotcha. Um, let's take a look at your production. What can you make? Fiber, salt, sand, pearls, element dust. Okay. Um, yeah, we know exactly what you make now. Here, how about you eat all of that? And here's some berries too. That's another reason why we're making this base over here so big, because we've got to have our gotchas like happy. Ten to four oh one, my goodness. Okay. We have Charles, we have Candace. Wait. We have two gachas named Charles. We have Charles and Charlotte. Okay. Charles, Charlotte, and... Um, female? Okay. Options, change name. Chantel. I don't know why I like the CH sounds for the, the gachas. Gosh, Chantel, gosh, Charles. But here we go. Down over here. And somewhere over here is a staircase that Art claimed is his own. Um, I, I can't even describe it, Turtle Club. We were over here trying to build these, this stair formation, and somewhere in the middle of all of it, it placed a staircase, and it didn't destroy a staircase. It just placed one, and it is nowhere to be seen over here. So, I eventually will figure that one out. <laughs> but I'm not confident that I'll figure out what in the hot sauce happened with that. All right, let's see here. That's not the one we want. Here we go. Now we can get up and we can jump over here. I really hmm. Lot of walls over here, right? Yep, we sure did. Okay. When in doubt, zoom it out. gotta admit like Ark is not an ugly game by far by any stretch of the imagination right Ark is just really really nice looking and 
especially the skybox. Especially the skybox. Alright. I mean, we could do that, maybe. feel like I want to because this room is going to be so wonky because of the the, the, the fan I kind of want to make this like a stairwell right here hmm. but a stairwell needs more than that we do know that if we cover this thing, it basically stops working, which is irritating. But, all right. I like symmetry, but we're not gonna get it on this one. So, I just gotta figure out how I want to climb to the top here and what all I want the rest of the actual base to be. We know we want it all enclosed for reasons. We can't get that enclosed. I mean, I guess we could, once we get it all built, we could retrofit all of the, ugh. Ugh, that's, that's. That's a lot of cables to replace. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, hmm. Do we have any scarecrows in here? No, we did get a chippy though. We, we killed a, a couple of the really terrifying things and got a chippy. We got some wood and some uh, we don't need a thatch there. Let's put the scarecrow over there. The chibis are kind of cool. Um, they're interesting. Oh, when you equip it, you have to name it again? That's that's kind of irritating, actually. A little bit chibi bear. Just follow me around. He completely clips to the ground. He doesn't do anything. He tends to just vanish at the most inopportune times. But neat. All right. Okay, that we do know we're gonna need to build some more of. Okay, here we go. Adobe walls, uh, clay and fiber. Oh, we got one out of two, right? What about you, Fire Wyvern? You holding on to some fiber? You certainly are. All right. Let's make that many of those, I guess. Okay. Oh, and holding on to some pumpkins, too, it looks like. Anything else Adobe in here that we can get rid of? Uh, grab them walls, grab that ceiling. Uh, what about Adobe stairs? What do they take? A lot more clay. Okay. We might start flying around to find some materials too. Um, we're not wearing a hat. Let's get a hat out of there. Mainly for protection reasons and space reasons. All right, you're okay. So over here, we've built all of this with Adobe. And the reason why we're building all this with Adobe is Adobe has this amazing property in the game to be um, thermal insulated. And well, that's either a shark, a manta, Okay. Looks like it was that manta over there. But so when you're when you're actually burning up over here, you can come into this building and hide in it 
and no air conditioning required, it'll cool you off. That's that's the reason why we got that built the way we do. All right. Hmm. I suppose I can make like this, like the stairwell right here. I'm not sure how I like about that either. All right, we'll be up the stairs, and it turns out that I'm way indecisive as to where the stairs go at the moment. Um, all right, let's do this because. I have officially annoyed myself to where I need two things of storage out in the middle of this. Alright, if you are part of materials and things and stuffs, I know really technical terms, Turkle. Good morning, Sally. All right, so all the things and stuffs go right in here. Including these things and stuffs. All right, you there, Fire Wyvern, take all your things and stuffs, but give you food back. All right, over here, let's see. If you are a Raptor Saddle, hey, that's cool. Now, why not? We might find some fiber we need. All right. So we are lean, mean scouting machines now. So we're going to do some drop hunting, see what we can find there, and we I mean, look how fast we get out of render distance, it's just amazing. The speed on the wyverns, when you're used to flying on the Pelagorni and the uh, Pteranodon, and then all of a sudden you get, bam, this super fast, oh, I didn't even know about this, What is what is this? Whoa. Okay. This is a place where we could possibly tame a, a manta. That's interesting. Okay, this should be like all food stuff and candy possibly. Ooh, not only did we candy, but we got vegetable cake. Um, yeah, that's that's good. I will take the vegetable cake and put it over there because they will eat it. You like the manta rays? Yeah, the manta rays are really cool. Um, check it out. We get a buff for 24 hours. Our wyvern now looks like this and flies faster. As if the wyvern flying death machine that it is needed to fly faster. Actually, for real, it might need to because there's wyverns all around. Yeah, the manta ray pool, that's new. I, I actually didn't know about that. That's... Ha. Huh. Ha huh is right. So this is the Epic Mag, or Epic Rag with Mag server. Um, it is cross-play. It is hosted by arcservers.io. And anyone who has the epic version of Ark, your cat woke you up, and then you saw me streaming. <laughs> well, we started streaming a little bit early because daylight saving time, it, it happened. And that's probably why your cat sort of woke you up, is your cat's probably used to you being up in about an hour or two. And by the clock, 
and if you are in an area where daylight savings time is observed it was like hey why aren't you up I have no clue why those things are freaking out like that they're enraged though Okay, we're gonna have to put these things down because they are they are totally freaking out. Oh, they hit hard too! Oh my goodness, what is going on here? So it was a level thirty, but what's the big one? Because this big one is really not liking us at all. That was just a level 100? Holy what? Oh my gosh. Get into your window. Oh, okay. So I was hoping to like get somewhere where they shouldn't be possibly. I see. It sounds like a cat. Our cats always love to do that kind of stuff. They were very ornery like that. Very cat like, I should say. So that's another candy corn drop. Not really what we're exploring for here. Oh, and vultures can so mess you up. Is that oil? It looks like oil. That's where an oil pump can go. Just waiting for the candy corn. We're going to have to kill this Utranosaurus and his posse because as soon as we try to get off this wyvern. Gotta say, I love the coloring on this though. Yeah, you're not as scary as that Megatherian that was hitting us for like 300 a shot, though. Alright, alright. Oh, look at all... Look at all the loots that we just got here. Uh, berry Saddle. Oh! Oh! Fertilized Trudon Egg! Oh my gosh! Okay. Okay, I don't know how we hatch a Trudon, though. Maybe get her back for it later when she's asleep. Ah, ah. Uh, that that sounds like that sounds like something that I wouldn't try with our cats. Our cats are, would be sleeping. I would leave them be because two of them had really sharp claws even after freshly clipped. But yeah, it, it, I, I wish our wyvern was this color all the time. But alas, it, it it isn't. It is it is all entirely because of the candy buff, but. Oh, that's a Mastercraft? Oh. Oh, well, we'll change the color of our Wyvern because that's a faster speed bonus. But yeah, the, the Halloween candy is pretty neat. I, I gotta say. Yeah, I'm getting some decent loot. Uh, the food loot's really good. What we just killed was really where a lot of the good stuff came from. Usually fighting dinosaurs, especially how we have the server tilted a little bit and how we've customized a lot of it. Fighting dinosaurs is a lot more risk, so I tilted it to be a lot more reward. There are some good rewards, don't get me wrong. Uh, we've made sure that flying around and hitting up these drops is going to get you some good stuff occasionally. But um, remove sweet vegetable cake. Did we give him the? Oh, we gave him the vegetable cake. Ah. Oh. Uh, we forgot about that. We talked about it. We even said it, and then we just gave it all to him anyways. 
vegetable cake heals the dinosaur over time and they will eat it if they have low health and the game considers anything below 100% low. <laughs> uh, which, you know, this is this is Ark Survival Evolved. You never know when things are going to go south and you're going to wind up wishing that you had full health. So that's, you know, not 100% terrible. What's, what's... I don't recognize... There's a buff on my screen that I don't recognize. What is that? What is that? Like this little thing right here. I have no clue what that is. I can hold H and it'll tell me with the candy effect, digesting, imprint bonus, all those kind of good yummy stuff. But that little that little red emblem right there, I'm not sure what that is. And when you don't know what's 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 what, it, it makes you concerned. Ooh. Okay. Two things. First off, we need to barbecue this terror bird. Two. Here we go. This right here. Oh, what do we got? We got. We had some scavengers coming after us, is what we had. You're a super tooth tiger, and you are a water jug bug. All right. There's a skeletal Bronto. Now we've seen a couple of skeletal Brontos on the server. But the thing that's really made us not go after any of the Skelly Bronos, number one, they completely, completely subscribe to Don't Start None, Won't Be None. Um, and we're fine with that. The other reason is because every time we find one, they are with a buddy. And we so don't want to mess with two Brontos if they are chained together by faction. Because one Brano is kind of dicey, two Branos is getting completely killed. <laughs> There's another beam. See, look, another another pair of Branos, skeletal Brano and non-skeletal. The game is all like, hi, we are true skeletons. And here's our person that we were in life. All right, another candy corn drop. Sure, we'll take another one of those. It's raining doesn't reduce the amount of fire damage they take so that's you know that's that's something that could be fixed right turn it down our internal volume it was a little loud for us And for those that are curious, yes, that is Rise from Ghost in the Shell. Great anime. Amazing song. And it is...
kind of some of the music I listen to before I stream. I don't do a lot of music while streaming. Alright. And let's see here. Let's move all that over there. Keep the kibble over here. Man, I'm so excited about this. Hey, McAdoo! McAdoo, check what I looted. It's a digested Trudon egg. I'm, I'm so stoked. I'm so stoked. I, I don't even know. I don't even know. I don't even know how you hatch one. I don't even know what you feed a baby Trudon. But I'm so happy we found one. I will have a Trudon in my in my my, my my home. I know normally a Trudon feast on the tears of survivors. <laughs> but yeah, I was I uh I don't know I remember I, I, I made the loot tables, but my memory is for things that are just like I hope to be surprised and pleasantly happy when it happens. It's not like a still trap or anything. But I was fighting a a Uteranus squad. Uteranus and like three Carnos. And one of them dropped it, so. Right at the moment, I'm scanning the region for drops. There's a drop over there. Maybe we'll get to one or not. I do know I need to like eat some food personally. Oh, that was not good. That was that was kibble. And the candy corns are rather nice. Oh, oh, there's another you uh We'll go down and fight this Ute squad. Let's see what we can do against it. All right, all right. It dropped a bag. It drops several of them. Dropped bags. All right, so we're gonna have to go take a look at their bags in a second. Excuse me, Carno. Ah, this is not good. All right, the thorny dragon's dead. That was that was a big question. All right, we got a blood gash on a fire wyvern. We're gonna let that go for a second. All right, we got so many bags. Ha. <laughs> Can you make yourself cry for an onion by your tears? Um, you know, it would actually help a lot better in that case. So, normally if you are trying to tame a true dawn, you actually have to feed it your own dinos. So far, nothing cool out of these bags. That was rather unfortunate. I think this is the the group. Here's the Ute. All right. Oh, oh, what we got there? Oh, an Anklo, an Abrid Anklo. Nice. Another. Oh, an X Anklo. Okay, here we go. So it looks like the Carnos are. Oh, we are we are like full up also, aren't we? Wow, okay. Um, it's a lot of just everything. 
Let's drop the saddle. We can like drop the non-ascendant stuff. Like, what? All right, and let's uh, up our stamina on this wyvern. Yeah, that is that is some rather good loot. Ramshackle, journeyman, 144. We want to we want to keep the 144 armor. Keep the best armor when you have the same quality. Primitive. Don't care about the wraps there. We got these eggs and this egg. We can drop that armor. We can put this helmet over, drop that other helmet. We can drop this chest piece. We can drop these, right? That's Chitin boots. Drop the Chitin boots. Pants, a whole entire set of clothing. Berry saddle. Drop it as well. Okay, and what about these? Megaloroster saddle. Nope, we're probably not going to tame one of them. Drop all the guns but the blue. There's so much good stuff over here. Oh, here's a purple gun. We can drop the blue gun. All right. And get all the ammo in one place. Oh, we got a personal level up. All right, we'll do that. We are currently upping our melee, right? Yep, sweet. Use your RG. You've killed a couple of skeleton carno. Oh, nice. I I've killed a couple of skellies, and the stuff that they drop is rather pleasant. Um, riot. That's all easily obtainable stuff. I don't think I'm going to need any of it, though, at the moment. All right. We have something that's, like, hugely heavy. What is it? <laughs> there's there's so much heft in, in this dinosaur's inventory somewhere. Oh, well, you know, there is the several hundred pounds of meat that it's carrying. Okay. Now we should be able to fly to the next drop. We try to be respectful of the fact that there's a giant just place full of wyverns over here. And if I didn't say it, uh, thank you for the GG, Sal. I, I appreciate that. Our, uh, our wyvern's pretty robust, but I know eventually I'm going to wind up biting off a lot more than that it can chew, and I really want to go get us, uh, especially now that wyverns are tameable, I want to get another wyvern egg. Okay, I was over here when I got ambushed by a bloodsucker the other day, so I'm... Real, real careful about how I grab stuff up in like this. Um, electrical stuff, junction box. Yeah, not too bad. Oh, oh, is that a? Yeah, that is in fact another turbine. Okay. Not what I'm hoping to find though. But you know, beggars can't be choosers sometimes. Alrighty, let's see what we got. Killed a skeleton stego and got one of the costumes for each. Yeah, I, I killed a couple of ghost dinos. Uh, those are kind of neat. Those are kind of neat. Oh. Just double checking. Just double checking that we're not in danger. I've not seen one yet. Um, they're pretty cool looking. They're hard to spot though, because they are fairly translucent in like blue shimmer color. I, I killed a, a wolf, and I forget what the other one was. Uh, a raptor. A raptor. Oh my gosh. 
That's a rare drop, and it's right here where Mr. and Mrs. Wyvern vacations in the summer, so let's... I just saw one close enough to make me like wrinkle my nose a lot <laughs> uh, okay yeah actually uh, I'm trying to remember where the I need to go look over at the, the Dig Red Island base real quick See what we got coming here. It's about to get dark. Yeah. All right, so let's just park you right there, buddy. Let's say meet. Let's grab all the meat. Let's see, meat over here. Throw you that, and then grab this, 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 this. All the things that really could be cooked. Um, hmm. Doing good for inventory space. We want to keep that there. We can actually grab all of that too? Nope, nope, not the fur. Not the fur. Um, pelt. There we go. That brain we can take over though in these things here. Okay. So, first things first, throw everything over there that can be cooked and turn it on. We are not in danger of running out of meat any day soon. Um, well now, okay. And is that is that that's all of that? Okay, we have any more meat? Cooked meat jerky, nope. Battle tartar doesn't go in this fridge. All of this stuff goes in this fridge. Once we get away to start making vegetable cake, we're gonna be really set for life. I think I'm just going to put the candy like here. Of course, the candy expires, and we're going to be sad when that happens. But it, when the event happens, when to end is when the candy goes away. We probably need to like make a grinder also I mean honestly and realistically because we got some stuff we could just grind away be okay with But yeah, now I'm wanting to really look up Trudon hatching. Because, yeah, that's a thing. So one second here, Turtle Club. We're going to mute the game for a second as we go to the other window here.
interesting. Not seeing what I'm hoping to find yet. Uh, behavior, trade on, taming. Wow, there's like no guide for hatching these things. I, I really don't know no actually Macadoo that's been removed to make arcs smaller what they've done is they have they've removed all of the holiday stuff to make the file size smaller which is unfortunate um, let's split half yeah it all groups up okay so we can't keep all of the holiday stuff going anymore. Like the Xmas is still turned on on the island server and none of it happens. Which, same thing for Easter and all that. The only thing that'll happen if you turn on the event is you will get the color variations and that's it. So like the, the yeah, uh, feed them whatever they normally feed them and that is too bad. Yeah, it is too bad. It is absolutely too bad. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm suspecting we feed them meat of the raw variety. My big concern is the temperature it needs. Because if we don't incubate it properly, it just dies on placement. Same thing on ankylos. I know that I know the rock drake's going to need like a frozen area, if I remember right. Well, let's see here. Maybe, maybe I can. Just maybe. Let's see here. Would throw. Yeah, me. I'm not. The, the the food stat the food feed I'm not too worried about it's the temperature because um, if the temperature is not good when you drop the egg it just immediately goes away because there's zero hit points here we go here we go Hatching a Trudon egg. Oh, that's a different thing altogether. Here we go. Incubation tables. There we go. That's what we wanted. So, Trudons need between 26 and 32 degrees Celsius, it looks like. 28 to 32 degrees Celsius. Uh, all right, so. It looks like their minimum. Yeah, 28 to 32 Celsius. That's not too bad. For the incubation temperatures, um, let's see here. So Fahrenheit, what does that turn into? Eighty-two to ninety. Uh, hey, T Mac, how's it going, man? Yeah, I'm. 
it's that 82 degrees that's the problem. If if I can actually just find a place that's like 82, right? Just normally out there and about, it might not be that bad. Because they don't take long to incubate, it says. Um, like an hour and eight minutes. And wyverns are like five hours. We saw how fast they pop on our server. So, all right. What I need to do is I need to go find it. I need to go find a uh, a cryopod. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad. I'm. You know we're we're in the new daylight savings period. All right. So we need that. When you get the Trudon egg out of here, right? Because that's where we, we we put our eggs upstairs. That's right. Because technically all eggs are meat. Even though we don't want to eat this one. I need to look at Anklos now. Also. Anklos are between 61 and 68. Wait a second. It's 65 here, so we could, we should be able to drop this anklo egg and drop this anklo egg just right on the ground, and it should be fine. Drop. Awesome. If we drop the Trudon egg here, though, it just automatically dies. Hey, happy Halloween to you, Dio. Or happy All Saints Day, depending upon where you live. It's November 1st now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, with our, with our rates being super speedy, the normal rates is what I was reading, just to get a good baseline. Like, two and a half hours is how long it takes for an Anklo. Wrong button. We need. Oh no! What did I? What did I push? I did the wrong whistle. I so did the wrong whistle. I did. Everybody follow me. Um, all right, everybody stop following. I hit the. I hit way the wrong button. Way the wrong button. That is, uh, that is, yeah, that is all the buttons that you never want to push. I do need to check on this guy, though. All right, he's got plenty of food. Yeah, yeah, we all do that. I just, it just takes so long to reset when I do it. I've been so good too. I've not done that in a. How how are you still following me? I I pushed the button that says everybody stop, and you didn't stop. All right. I think these are all almost all cooked. We're gonna grab that meat, and turn that off. At least everybody came flying to my aid in a horrifying way all at once. Not everybody, I guess. There, there's some people that stayed where they were supposed to stay. Like, Charles is there. Thank you, Charles, for being Charles. Or, actually, Charles did kind of move. Looks like Candace. Um, she moved also. Chantel moved as well. All right. I think the only thing that didn't move was the Pelagorni all the way on the barge base. He's that far away, he couldn't hear me. What about the Dodicarus? Did the Dodicarus move as well? I 
Looks like the Dodicarus is like, nope, you're too far away, buddy. Yeah, I uh, I should probably can like customize all that, but laziness. It, it'll it'll be the death of you all the time, right? All right, all right, Nora. Let's go park you back where you need to go. Pteranodons are so fast. I can only imagine one with like a ascendant candy. Oh my gosh. Back you up. Make the little truck beep noises in my head. All right. Following Mag Synchro, why? Oh, because you're on Hunt, that's why. Because you auto-follow when you get dropped, that's what happens. All right. Okay, these are 88 degrees now. Hopefully they're not about to die on us. They're so close to hatching. They're so close to hatching, oh my gosh. They're dead. They're dead. Both eggs just died. Okay. All right. Well, that's what we were afraid of. That's what we were actually concerned with, with the Trudon egg. It's got to be 82 to 90. So it's in the right range now. Or it was. That should have that should have dropped right into the right temp. Oh my gosh. Unless it just dropped right through the floor. Nope. Rip. That is the danger of hatching these eggs. Is they are really really powerful eggs really really cool eggs and you can breed your your uh, your dino lines out of it but you gotta be careful all right cactus broth okay so rip looking through here if there's anything else we could kind of do at the moment double rip yeah but we we know how to go get more eggs right we've discovered what we can go kill in mass for those eggs and we we might just do that we almost hit the 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 dismount okay all right, so I'm I'm still not 100% sure why the Trudon egg died. That that's kind of weird to me still, but oh well. You missed that part. Um, so the Ascendant candy. Um, so the candies, McAdoo, have rarity. Like when you get the Halloween candies, 
See, that's a primitive, and that's a primitive. And when you get the candy corn drops, you could have candy in them, and they will have various stat adjustments. They'll change their colors, and they'll look pretty, um, as all candied dinos will. But let's uh, let's not jump down on this one this time. But yeah, they they absolutely will just uh, in, increase your your dino stats and stuff. All right, so we need a lot more walls. But what I think we can do I really want to hatch something. I think I know what we're going to do. We're going to be stupid again. Alright. Alright, where is our Geely armor? There's a Geely, there's a Geely, there's the Geely. There's the Geely. And where are our climbing picks? Alright, and that Geely doesn't have our glider suit. This has our glider suit. So we want to remove the skin, and we want to put the skin on that one. Okay. Making skins and some other stuff? Um... I know the pumpkins are used for that, and the headstones are used for that. I don't know if the candy's used for it, though. Unless there's other things here. All right. that on the six, put that on the eight. Okay, we're going to take all of this and put it away. We're going to put that there. And there's our Carnabone costume. Somewhere we have a a raptor costume. I think it's at the other base. I think it's at the other base. Okay. All right. So fly over here. Candy from skeleton dinos. Uh, okay, no worries. Yeah, the, the bones actually will. The bones will actually uh, be used for stuff. I know that, and I've gotten some some bones from some some dinos. But all right, so we're not here. We want to go over here, right? Oh wait, we have two such things, and then we have this over here. Grab that and grab the flippers. All right, I'm gonna go after another wyvern egg. I think I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the the, the Goldilocks boat. <laughs> this is what I'm calling it. The one we spent all the effort on. Oh, it's a megalodon. Not a bacillosaur.
We're gonna take us some edible water also. Speaking of which, we're gonna eat some water. The other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take all these expensive tools and put them on this wyvern, okay. Alright. Just got candy data from killing a skeleton, Bronto. That's cool. Yeah, you can get it from killing the skeletons. You can get them from getting the candy corn drops also. The candy corn drops are just white drops that are the red ring drops. They have a higher chance of spawning though. So, you know, that's a thing. So this is our double walled stone stuff. Um, I, I, th hey Dylan, how's it going, man? Welcome, welcome, dude. No candy from them. Yeah, all of my candy bit, like one piece, came from the from the candy corn drops. Autocorrect as usual. <laughs> Autocorrect is uh, is interesting. There's there's a lot of things that I like autocorrect for in some ways, but yeah, I'm doing pretty good, man. I'm doing pretty good. I am up a little bit longer than normal because of the fact that daylight savings time happened. And so because I was up and I noticed that we would normally be streaming before the clocks changed, I decided to fire the stream up early. So this is going to be uh, like an hour longer than usual. And we're about to do something stupid possibly it has not gone well the last couple times we've done this but I'm really hoping that we can improve upon what we've been doing this time now I know Palik had mentioned that we probably wanted to gas mask for this and while I don't disagree, I just got to the point where I can make them, and I don't have all the materials for a gas mask. So, yeah, that's a thing. Hey, Amora! Welcome, welcome. We're about to do dumb things involving a wyvern egg. And Turtle Club, if you don't know, Amora Mantis is also one of the streamers that we like to kind of kick back and watch some of the stuff when she goes live. We've not been able to catch her, but her uploaded stuff's amazing. Oh yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're in our armored boat. We are in a Geely armor in the armored boat. And we are heading toward the Wyvern Cave. And we have scuba gear with us, which is what we're hoping we'll be able to do. Oh, looks like McAdoo just went onto the server as well. The last time this happened, McAdoo like had to help bail us out <laughs> because we didn't have the materials to build enough boats to get us there. But this time we we're fine. Um, we do need like a. We absolutely need like a uh, thing. Logging on just in case. Yeah. Yeah. I'm hoping to hatch a male wyvern. 
so I can start breeding. And I'm hoping it's a male fire wyvern so I can breed with the other fire wyvern. Ideally, it would be a lightning wyvern. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers, dot, dot, dot. Oh, I just realized I completely don't have a um, an, a ceiling entrance on this. Ugh. Oh, that's not good. On the bright side, these guys are pretty lenient when you're just in here in the boat. Lurking now. Alright, Sal, no worries. Alright, so... I think that's going to be our best bet to get up right there. I know there's some question as to why we had built these little open-ended sides the way we'd done. And this is gonna this is gonna make some sense now. Alright, I need a K I need a K view. Alright. Just gonna go right like that. Okay. Mag Synchro Nels the dismount. All right. Uh, that might be better just to fly over this way. Again, the, the, the worst thing over here is if we die. Oh, one, one, one second. We need to. Boom. If we die, we're just out a really expensive boat and a little bit of gear. Right there's where the other egg nest is. Got up here. It's like right in here is where one of the egg nests can spawn. Nada. Okay, so the other three eggs are all up top of these rocks, and then there's one down there in the nope zone. Ugh. I'm so hoping we don't have to go into the nope zone. I I, I don't like the nope zone. It's just so full of nope. Ah, that's part of what we were afraid of is one of these breaking in the middle of this. Once we get all the way up, we'll be able to eat some food. That'll heal us a little bit.
so far these wyverns don't care I mean it's seriously like we can go around in the Geely armor and they just don't really give any concern to us whatsoever while we're out here and about they're like oh mag how are you where you been buddy we didn't really mean to eat you last time you were here you just we were hungry speaking of all right we have plenty of durability on that all right and there could be a nest in amongst all that down there but There is absolutely usually a nest up top of this. I just gotta figure out how to get there. is where we need to go we need to switch over to other climbing pick so as far as I can tell turtle club the places that I know that the wyvern eggs spawn, we've checked three of them. Um, Looks like those spots are empty. So we're going to go back this direction. We got turned around. This is not exactly the best thing for us. Like right over there is basically in the upper left hand corner of the screen is where it should spawn. It's not there. So that direction there should be where our boat is.
but I could be wrong. There's our boat. Alright, so the last thing we need to do is come to the very first place that this egg is going to be at. And that's kind of unfortunate. We don't really want to try searching there first because honestly we don't usually see a lot of eggs at this spot and the uh, the number of times I actually survive getting eggs here versus the number of times I don't is 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 not proportionate enough in my opinion uh, and that's a good morning, like taking on Bessos Valley to finish an earlier recording you attempted this week. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, absolutely. Good, good morning, Bessos Valley. Hi, how you doing? Of course, now that you got the RG squad, Bassless Valley isn't anywhere near that scary, is it? We're both having amazing adventures this morning. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'm all for having an amazing adventure. I, I really am. I just don't like when I lose everything on my adventure. And land the dismount there. We're just going all the way up to the top of the summit. Oh, look at that. It's a fire wyvern. It's only a 90, quote unquote, only a 90, I say, right? All right. So, ideally, we just grab it, jump, and swim down to the bottom and hope we line and sight these guys away. Uh, so, somewhere around here is a mama wyvern that's level 90. Yeah. All right, I know exactly how I'm doing this, though. Cannonball! Pardon me, guys, while I run away. Oh, nice. Oh, Griffin? You got your Griffin. Good job. All right. So, two things real quick. We need to switch off this tank before we die. I 
think we might have managed to completely cheese this. I don't think we have a single thing to worry about. I mean, I could be wrong. But we totally line of sight of them and didn't have anything nearby. Oh, this is good. This is better than good. All we need is a male fire wyvern out of this egg. We get a male fire wyvern out of this egg and we wind up being able to hatch baby fire wyverns. One second though, we are noticing that we are a little hungry. Be very, very careful not to eat the fire wyvern egg. Okay, that's a lightning wyvern. We're okay with that. Uh, that's not the right button. This is the right button. Okay. How bad is it? It's just a lightning wyvern. I don't know, McAdoo. I don't know. I would presume not, because they're all considered to be specific, but I couldn't swear it. I do know, though, that at least it's just a lightning wyvern. Plus side, it's not a poison wyvern, because they do AoE damage. It's not a fire wyvern, because they do AoE damage. We are in a giant stone RE grounded um, bunker, not metal. I don't know what level it is, but you know, we're we're fine. We're fine. We're gonna we're gonna drop this thing off at Wyvern Daycare, and then we're gonna be out of here. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I'm hoping to. It, right now, we have all these female wyverns, which are amazing, don't get me wrong. All right, but, okay, here we go. Hello, wyvern. Guess what? Guess what? These birds over here, they probably taste a lot better than rocks. They probably taste a lot better than the rocks. What do you think? No, those don't look delicious, but they taste just like chicken, I swear. Same thing with that bird, it probably tastes like chicken. It so tastes like chicken, see? Now all we have to do is drop aggro. And dropping aggro on wyverns is not easy, but there's so many things over there for it to eat we're hoping we'll drop aggro. We just bumped over a, a shark speed bump. Uh, of all the things that we did to build this base, we did pretty good for our base build. Oh, here he comes again. Here he comes again. Look at it. It's coming right for us, and it's veering off. Okay. We need to take off these gloves so we can see where we're at where, as we're driving. Oh, uh, come on. Come on. All right. That's fine. That's fine. We we have we have Wyvern Daycare over here.
I don't know why wyverns can't damage stone. I mean, they're dragons, right? You would think they could damage stone, but you know, I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm happy with the fact that they can't, for for obvious reasons here. Come on, keep eating those things. Keep fighting those things. Totally disregard the stone boat over here. Now, once we get our barge built, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start driving our boats to the barge, which will have like a ginormous amount of turrets all over it. We did not deaggro it, and we were almost to the edge of the world. Okay, we gotta, we gotta go to another little baby center area. We were hoping it would have went after that that uh, skeletal bone dino, but it decided it didn't want any of that. Did not wish to eat it. Decided did not want. Did not look snackable. Come on, let's let's bring you to the Capri Suns. It's, oh man. I know Pellick said that we needed like slanted roofs to avoid them from doing stuff like that, but here we go. Here we go. This should be enough for the wyvern to want to eat like the whole island. Hello, wyvern. Here is an island full of popcorn chicken. Don't you want to eat, like, any of that over there? Like, seriously? Look how tasty it looks. Like, all of it over here. Like, any of that. None of that? Seriously? Here. How about some of that? Wow. It is super mad at us. And we don't have anything to store in here. Hmm. I was pretty certain these things aggroed on some of the ground dinos. Well, 
there's an Argent. Maybe, just maybe, it'll aggro on any of the things over here. over here. Oh, we got stuck on the ground. Oh, no. There we go. No, it's starting to wiggle free. It's starting to wiggle free. There we go. Oh, it's shooting the, the wyvern The Velo is shooting the Wyvern. There are a few things shooting this Wyvern and angry at this Wyvern. I'm not exactly sure if they're exactly upset at the Wyvern specifically. Okay. All right. Wyvern's upset with the Stego now. Okay. Let's run. Let's run. You're at my base. Okay. Uh, which which one, Nakadu? I got a few. Um, I th think we finally left it with enough things where we're going to be able to run out of render distance. And it ain't going to care about us anymore. By the trench? Okay, yeah. That's where I'll be hatching the wyvern at, so that's, that's a good call. That's a good call. It looks like we finally brushed it off. Finally. Okay. No. Oh my gosh. This thing's memory is like ginormous. It is closer to me, so that is where you went. You're you're meaning the the trench by the lava side, right? Because there, there's the wyvern cave, and then there's the wyvern trench. I'm slightly confused, but I'm also fighting this this thing that doesn't wish to die at all. Okay. Okay, yeah. That Dig Red Island. All right, yeah. Hmm. 
So he like got fed up with the Stega even? What gives? There are so many other things for it to be fighting over here. The cave, all right, yeah, that's all good. Yeah, see this thing. Didn't even didn't even kill them all. He just said no, and then moved on. All right, let's let's go over here. Maybe it'll maybe we'll want to eat all these things. Oh wait, is it stuck in the trees? I don't know what's going on over there anymore. But maybe. Maybe. Well, we get Okay, okay, it's it's banking back. It's banking back. It's thinking. It's thinking. It's no longer thinking. Wow. I know what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that I'm going to die to this thing. So I'm going to start planning for my death. Hey, Shadow. Welcome to the... Um, we shouldn't have taken a baby wyvern from its mommy. It's almost like a game show, but nobody wins anything. Okay, so we're going to try to be sneaky here. I don't know if we can be sneaky. All right. Okay, it, it's satisfied with doing that for a second, so let's do this. Let's see here, storage. How much wood do we need for storage chest? We need 50 wood. This is gonna take a bit. So it's 16, that's 32, that's 40, we're still not getting enough wood yet, we almost have enough. Wait, seriously? Did it just decide no? Am I... Okay. Cue the Steve Irwin voice. We're going to steal this egg from this mama. Crikey, she's angry. Look at that. Ain't she a beaut? Now what will happen here is a mama wyvern will protect her young at all costs, chasing the poor guy who managed to get one for an omelet to the edge of the planet and back. That is a horrible, horrible accent. Apologies to the Irwin family. Alright. We thought we were getting away with murder, but we weren't. 
Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Don't worry. We're 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 learning. We're learning. We haven't learned not to take the eggs from the wyvern yet, but we're learning things. What else are we learning? We are learning that right here is some fiber, possibly? Nope, no fiber there. We are using the bugginess of Ark against itself. What about this? Can we do that? Is that another tree in our base? That's another tree in our base. We just need one more little piece of wood. Alright, good. Oh, that was awfully close to our head. That was awfully close to our head. Alright. Good morning, Frosty. How's it going, buddy? We are, we're not quite regretting our life choices. Oh, that might've actually been good. We might've gotten where we needed it. There we go, there we go, there we go. That's wooden thatch, come on. Come on. No, that's our bed. We don't need our bed. What we need is we need some of this fiber to be harvestable, and it's not. Oh my gosh. We thought we got some fiber curbside, but we didn't. We thought we had some fiber curbside, but we didn't. Okay, that, that might be... We might have just beached ourselves. Oh, Turtle Club. I think we've made a, a terrible calculated risk. I think we're not going to be able to recover from it. Oh my gosh. Uh, well, unmooring the boat's going to be pretty impossible. So what I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I don't even know why I'm thinking this. I mean, he's, he's pretty good and stuck there. using the bed to your base and back work it would drop everything into a bag the problem with that though McAdoo is the bag doesn't travel with the boat the bag does not travel with the boat and that's why that's why I need some fiber and I think this is such a bad idea okay Plus side, we should be able to build some storage now. All right, so we got storage. And we so just need to put it like right here. Put the egg in there, put the clothes in there. 
picks, our foodstuffs, the rest of the materials we got in this Hail Mary or we don't care about. Okay. So now we should be able to fast travel. Wait, where are we at? We're here. We can't fast travel to where we're at, but we can fast travel to the Adobe Barge. Yeah, he, he should and go back to the bunk beds over here. All right, we don't want to get anything out of there, but we do want to get everything out of this bag. And the problem is, whoa. Not only did they lose interest, but they took off. Okay, so now I just gotta figure out how to unstick myself. In the past, it's been the stairs that have got me stuck. Uh, that's not it today, though. All right, that's fine. Um, we can put these stairs back because we need to put them back. We need a pick. So it's over here where it looks like it's stuck. Is that corner? Oh, there's a bag here too. We'll take that bag. So if I take this corner here, I think we'll be fine. And by fine, I mean not at all. Alright, so we lost a little bit of armor, but can we get out of the hole that we're in? Oh my gosh, no. Okay, the wall's still in place, so what is blocking us? And maybe the rest of the... Hmm. The lightning wyverns a 360. Um, yeah, I I, uh, I I wouldn't come over here to watch. I I don't know where it ran off to. I'm hoping it didn't go to where I teleported. That would be horrible. Okay, well, let's, hmm. Still on the hill? So it's over there somewhere? Oh, shnikes. Okay. We're 
just stuck though. Okay. Well, all we can do is we can make ourselves a little more lightweight. He's not stuck anymore. Yeah, not being stuck is fine. Uh, not being aggroed on me is better than not being stuck. I'm stuck. Which is part of my issue at the moment. Hmm. Oh, there's another bag of people stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll take it. an Argent. See, I don't know. Hmm. So I feel like what I need to do to try to unstick this. Oh, that, that gave me a little bit of a fright. Uh, whoever that is, it's right outside. You, you have officially made me um, terrified slightly. All right, let's let's. Um... Hey, Macadoo. All right, so we're going to. I think if I pick up this foundation, and this foundation, maybe, and this final foundation. Oh, there's another bag. Wow, there's just like prize packages everywhere. And. Finally, this foundation. We might have unstuck ourselves. No, it's just the boat itself. Um, the th thing is, okay, so as soon as we grab this egg, it's going to aggro any wyverns. Uh, you get some back, T Mac. It depends upon how you break it. Um, as soon as you grab this egg, it's going to aggro the wyvern, and so um, yeah, one of those would definitely help to get us home. But getting home, I could just fly my wyvern here. I could fast travel, fly my wyvern here, and grab everything. It's just I don't want to have the wyvern coming after us. So we know that we know that those are what's causing the stickage. And I th think that's anchored onto the hatch frame. It is. Okay. Good. And the hatch frame is anchored on one of these tiles. Yeah, the boat is still stuck. Ugh, okay. Trying to know it's faster than... Oh, yeah, yeah. T Terra is, is definitely faster. Um, oh, there's a Mora on her Griffin. Yeah. Yeah, what I think I'm going to have to do is I'm just going to have to come by with my wyvern and just dismantle this thing. Because ideally, we don't want the boat here stuck. So let's, um, let's fast travel over here to one of the beds. Many, many beds. We might wind up being on a boat. Nope, we're actually where we wanted to be. Okay. The other thing with the Pteranodon as uh, Nora, as fast as she is, may not be able to carry 
me and the egg. Carry weight 500 almost, right? Am I reading uh, 690? Yeah, I'm reading wrong numbers. All right, so it's uh, do we have food on the world? No, we don't. Boy, howdy, when you're used to flying on a wyvern, flying on something super fast. All right, just 300 meat. All right. We're just going to get on the tappy as fast as possible and scatter and hope we can outrun the wyvern if it gets on us. If not, we're going to just say rip on the pteranodon. But yeah, T-Mac, when you destroy a structure, I want to say you get like 50% of the resources back, which ideally isn't amazing, right? But it's better than zero. And you can pick up a structure that you've placed, and oh, we are, we are not where we wanted to be with this thing before it runs out of stamina. All right, we're just gonna coast pleasantly and hope it doesn't run all the way out of stamina. Yeah, the boat itself you don't get back. You actually have to, you actually, the boat's considered an NPC. So you actually destroy the boat and it dies and it gets put in the log as a death. It's, it's kind of depressing. All right. problem is, is we don't know how close the wyvern is versus our aggro. Hmm. Just going to perch right here when we get our stamina back. And thankful that we're playing on a non modded, non brutal arc server because dino stamina, I'm way out of render distance. Good. <laughs> That's what I love to hear at this point is for, for that lightning wyvern we are way out of render distance and render distance is pretty much aggro range for a lot of things look at the red and green thorny dragon oh my gosh these color pairings for this Halloween event, the reds, the greens, the oranges, and the purples, and the blacks, are just so amazing. Am I in the wrong spot? I think I'm in the wrong spot. Did I overshoot where my wyverns parked? Um... I forgot to actually check where I was. No, I think I'm in the, I'm almost in the main river, aren't I? Maybe not.
I don't remember Atheroplores or all this. Oh my gosh. I'm like way, way far away from where I'm supposed to be, I think. Because I so would have tried to park it right there. Yeah, I'm... I'm yeah. Got to go back the other way. Look at that colorful nightmare down there. All those pretty colors killing each other. Oh, that's a dead prehistoric camel. Quite dead. Yeah, what we're needing is right over here. Between like 40, or between 80, 40, thereabouts. There is sign of life. All right, there's a little light when we're at. Boy, howdy. Oh, thank you, McAdoo. I see the boat now. Just double check our six here. item cache all we want is the tombstone and the ammo the rest of it we're fine with it disappearing if it needs to uh, this is enough materials that we want to actually pick up the bunk bed here's all of our other stuff we're just going to grab this jump on the pteranodon fly as if our life depended on it. Because we had moved out of render range from that wyvern a couple times and it still wanted to come eat us. see a few flyers nearby but nothing that looks dragonous looks like we got McAdoo over there on the Argent maybe a Mora what is this down here oh there's a skeletal no that can't be a uh, if that's a skeletal um Spear Dino, I'm nah, nah. There's no way. I 
All right. Sweet. Still looking. Uh, we we uh we got our stuff there, Shadow. We got our we got to our base. We got our eggs. Um, we now just going to park our pteranodon here. All right, Nora's got all of that, and we're going to switch over to our wyvern. He's probably where'd we like where'd we park our wyvern at? Up top, I think. And then we're gonna go hatch a wyvern egg. Where where did we park the wyvern? It's a giant dragon, and I seem to have slightly misplaced it. All right, have a good one, T Mag man. Oh, okay. By the boat, that's where the wyvern's at. Sweet. Okay. And going up his. So I don't know if I can hatch based upon your fires. Oh, look at this Jaboa. Shiny Squirrel Syndrome, guys. Look at that. It's got some purple in the ears. Huh. Alright, we got plenty of food, plenty of meat. What we don't have is wood. Yes, and it will. It will. That'll work. Uh, where, where is your base at again? The East Coast or West Coast? I mean, by Blue Obby, right? We're gonna head that way. Shouldn't it be hot at the moment? I'm actually not wearing any pants. Let's go ahead and fix that at the very least. And I still don't know what that icon is. Maybe McAdoo or Amora are aware of what that is. On on the buff screen. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. I'm gonna try to put it over the the white caps of the mountain. It's like a a red egg or something almost. Maybe it indicates that I got a candy buff or something. Well, there's some sort of structure right there. We haven't been looking at other people's bases for a while. We've been sort of, you know, focused on ours. Just the rock formation. All right. Ever since we had these multiple power outages, I, I think my computer took a hit in some way, which makes me sad. All right. 
land right here. It's level 90, but if it's a a level 90 male, we'll still we'll be able to start breeding wyverns. say the Mars base was out this way. Uh, there's double ocean platform, basically what I'm doing. Keep them safe over here. Oh, we gotta look at the skeletal real quick. Oh no, that's the unicorn. Look at that. Found a unicorn. Berry. <laughs> oh, and a bloodstalker. Okay, I, I've got to ask Amara when she's available. How many blood bags that thing took? Because 10 doesn't do it. I can tell you that much. Here's the Mars base. I like the uh, hexagonal kind of room there. It's cool. So now I just got to try to remember where McAdoo's was. I know it was like on a cliff near Mars. Wait, here looks like some trapping cages. This might be McAdoo's. Oh, there's all sorts of dino breeding going on over here. This is... This is some base building. Yeah, this is the base. Alright. All right, we're going to park right here for just a second. You just stay right there, big fella. We're going to take half of your meat away. See lots more taming that I've been going on. Whoa, what's all this? Oh, you can decorate with the with the stuff? I did not know. That's amazing. That's amazing. That is way cool. So that is locked, and that is locked. Nice little gardening area. See, we've got so much stuff that we got to get going on. So, where is the the hatching center? Is this an Allosaur? Nice. Skeletal Trike. We would pet him, but we can't pet him. Those RG colors are amazing too. Here are a couple more female wyverns. We're hoping our egg will actually produce a male. A 
few possible taming pins there. sure what that is for. Experimentation possibly. I cannot get at it until you get through the doors locked. It's alright. No worries. No worries at all. You'll, your old base area. Okay. wouldn't be a bad idea just to while we're doing that come over here and just get some wood We're going to be building some fires here. Multitasking. Oh, and there is a scarecrow. We got about 20 minutes left on stream. So I'm hoping we'll be able to get this guy hatched in the amount of time. Yeah, fireplace, all right. I see the area there actually. I might be able to get in there. May not be ne able to necessarily get out, but looks like it's open. Okay. I see where the fireplaces are. And it says I can light the fire. There's Magadoo. All right, so just take a run. Oh, nice. Got some taxidermy spots. Cool. And a grinder going, man. Okay, and let's go ahead and just drop the egg. Am I able to light the fires? Yeah, I should be able to light the fires because it gave me light fire. Yeah, and I'm burning up, so that's good. The fire affects me heat wise. Let's go ahead and just drop that. And let's drag it back just a little bit. We don't want it to. Nice. All 
And this should pop up in about 10 minutes. So take a look at everything else we got here while this is going on. The, the cooker. So we can turn on the cooker and we can turn off the cooker, but we can't investigate the cooker. Interesting. Industrial forge. Nice. Dodo pin, some other baby dinos, nice. Yeah, see, so this is what we need also for the rock drakes once we get them going. It's something similar. Uh, we discovered for a, a, a low rock drake that has zero hit points. Um, that we need like nine AC units just to be on the safe side. Just being nosy and taking a look around because this is just. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, it, yeah. From from what I was testing. Oh, chemistry bench. Yes. And. Should be able to um, learn the gas ball ability. I've got some, got some uh, of those. This is this is nice. This is nice and spacious. See, Macadoo, you always do like these really cool base builds. Mine are always like boxes that have just stuff shoved in them. They're big boxes, but that's about it. Thank you. Little greenhouse over there. I need to get my greenhouse going too. Oh, speaking of greenhouses, though, I did find something cool. Yeah, I'm always busy. Yeah, I, I, it was nice looking when I saw it when it was just a baby base. So I can only imagine how just over, just amazing it is now. But if you uh, if you put gatches nearby dinosaurs that defecate a lot, like Fiomias, the gatches will pick up the refuse, but they won't consume it. So even though we don't have like a, a gatherer or a collector, it will at least let you like log in and have like a lot available to put near like a dung beetle or something. minutes and 47 seconds yeah yeah I was testing that a while back and I've been I've been looking for like oh that's all good there are certain things I can actually access like the forge but for some reason the cooking pot I can't oh, old dodo pin Yeah, there, there's a couple of dilos. Let's see. Oh, there's a little gap here. Not big enough to get through, but need enough to see. I do. I have 500, give or take, so I should be fine. And worst case scenario, I've got cooked meat. Ah, there's a water fountain. That's what I was looking for. There we go. Get a little, get a little gerbil drink on, basically. Oh, I hear the generator. This has got to be the Jenny room. Oh, something upstairs is flapping its wings. Uh, I'm level 100 male. Ah, level 5. Nice. 
Yeah. The, uh, I really like the fact that we were able to find a way to put some of the really cool eggs in the game. Uh, I'm really happy with the fact that they're breedable now. So now you can like, oh, here's the garden. Oh, I got the scarecrow in the garden. That's awesome. Oh, and there's a snail. Hi, Gary. Or whatever your name might be. Can I access the fireplaces? I can. Okay. kind of ferry these over here there they go right there So, so far, I've got like 75 on me. I'm good. And I've got cactus. I carry a lot, around a lot of cactus because it hydrates also. And it's super easy to get with a wyvern. You just fly near the cactuses and hit the, uh, the C button. And it AoE gathers all the cacti. You got lots of what? Oh, yeah, you got lots of food. Just like I do. Oh, there's some honey there. Oh. I need to tame vegetables. Yeah, I you got the, the garden going too. Oh, tech parasaur eggs, nice. And some fertilized eggs too. Oh yeah. Surprised you haven't hatched that yet, Macadoo. The Magmasaur eggs an extra? I find that slightly. Oh, okay. About to say, yeah. That's going to be another one that you want to be absolutely sure that it's all perfect before you go about hatching it. Oh, absolutely having fun, Amara. Absolutely. Always have fun with Ark. I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that McAdoo. Oh, okay. Well, I will absolutely. take a look here so pink RGs 457 459 so that one may not be the 100% pink you got two magma star two rock drakes two poison one fire one lightning nice I am about to be at two fire my my uh, poison rock my poison R uh, wyvern and my uh, lightning wyvern or my frost wyvern, whatever the mother wyvern was, they they uh, they did not survive. 
Hello, little baby wyvern. How are you? I did take the egg, Magmar egg. I'll put it back. I'm sorry. I, I misunderstood. I thought they were all extra. Oh, is the one on the... Yeah, alright. Yeah, just just the RG egg. Yeah, I gave the baby food. Oh, lead it outside. Okay. Um, come on, baby. Follow me. Follow me, baby. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. My behavior, fall distance, lowest. One up the stairs. Up the stairs. This way. Yeah, that's that's what I was thinking. She is a she, which is the story of all of our wyverns. I, I don't think we have a male among anything. Yeah. I kind of want to cluster the servers in... And, uh, oh, that's awfully tempting, Amara, to take one of those Magmasar eggs, but I, uh, I have a goal, find a boy wyvern. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the goal right now. Uh, and I, I, we don't know if they will crossbreed. I don't know if they'll crossbreed or not. Come on, a little bit closer. A little bit closer. You always end up getting Magmas or eggs, so don't worry about it. <laughs> See, you were complaining about RNG, and now you're always getting Magmas or eggs. Now, what's going to be really cool now, since we can breed these wyverns, wyvern eggs can be used, if they're fertilized, to tame basilisks. And that is a that's something you could do is tame a basilisk. It is extremely easier to do now. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, they're not that hard to tame actually. If you are on a rock drake, the basilisk won't aggro on you. And because they won't aggro on you, all you have to do is drop a fertilized wyvern egg on the ground. Now, beforehand, there wasn't a real easy way to get fertilized wyvern eggs, except for what we just did. But once we have a male amongst us, we can start breeding and hatching eggs. And are we... We are no longer baby, we are now juvie. And because we're juvie, we can hold all the meats. 15%. We're going to go a little bit over on this stream. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. And you were probably going to go and park somewhere else. Now, I do think I want to put the imprint timer different on the server. I like the idea of imprinting the dinos. Um, I just don't like the I I just don't like the mechanics of having to juggle all of the hatch timers. But I'm gonna have to figure that out. 
because I know we want to start being able to imprint on dinos, which will help improve stats and all that kind of stuff. Especially for like Rexes and boss fights. I tell you what I'm really wanting to do eventually is get one of these, see, see the coloration there? You get a yellow and green coloration on the Sabertooths and they look like Battle Cat from He-Man. That is a, a short term goal in a long term life. 20%. Gonna have to breed them, yeah. Gonna have to breed a lot of stuff. Once we once we get the the uh, the dinos, the 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 magnosaurs, you can also use for uh, taming basilisks. You can use their eggs for that too. And those you can only uh, last resort dancing and buffing. Um, oh, we, we have still a juvenile wyvern, but it's getting big. Look at those AAs. It's got some of that ashy, wingy stuff. This, of course, is not this wyvern's natural color. It, it, it dies because it's got its little buff. All right, and... Or we're waiting for that thing to gestate. You can't drive for baby Tim with Richard or Adam. Yep. But while that thing's growing up, I absolutely need to go fly back to my base and grab a cryopod so I can pot it and take it back home. What I need to do also is start farming oil in my little bitty base over here so I can get a cryo fridge system set up. I really want them to oh oh that's that's a whole lot of nope going on there. I really want them to quickly get mods done for Epic because there's like five mods that's all there's just five mods I want to put on this server and uh, one is the gravestone mod because I enjoy being able to use that for selected respawn stuff. I think the way I had it set last time on the brutal server would be adequate to where you can respawn with all your crafted gear but none of your harvested stuff. That way you can't wind up cheesing a wyvern egg that you know or cheesing a uh, basilisk encounter or anything like that uh, so I think that would be cool um, the other mods simple spawners because there are some places that I would like to put some unique spawns on this map and you just can't do that with vanilla INI files I have tried I have tried I have fought the good fight and we've got some really amazing stuff going on here but there's just some things that just don't work um, but those two mods absolutely would like to have on here. Uh, the other mods is the Ozark Seed mod, which lets you grow some other um, some other types of things, like being able to grow your own cactus. Um, the flyer mod, nah. Now I'm good with the flyers the way they are, but that's because I never had the high speed flyers. Um, but the other two mods, yeah, one is the, one is the, um, and, and there's actually kind of a, a minor thing, right? And I'll, I'll talk about that in a second. But one is the admin structure mod, because I like the idea of making admin structures for events and stuff. 
uh, I've got a really cool idea for something, but it requires the uh, the building that I make for it to not be destroyable by any of the flora and fauna of these dinos. And that's that's one of the reasons why I would like to have that on there. But the last mod that I would like to have on this server, and like I said, just five, is Shiny. Um, and Shiny is like Rare Sightings, but it's got so much more going on for it. Um, and one of the things it has is edibles like the candy for this Halloween event. And those edibles let you do certain... Whoa, what's that? That's a ghost dino. Oh, that's a ghost rex. Oh, we just, we just so had to kill that thing. All right. We leveled up there and check it right there. Oh, awesome. Let me go ahead and what are we, what are we leveling up here? We're leveling up health. Ah, uh, level 99. What can we get in 99? A rocket turret. We have no desire for a rocket turret. Fire wyvern. Get some stamina. This is the time when the ghosts of all the Dodos come back for the revenge. Uh, you're not off on that, actually, Shadow. Um, every third day on the server for a few minutes, like 15 minutes in total, randomly, and this is like real world day, uh, supposedly, um, a dodo rex will spawn, and a, or dodo wipe. And those things will absolutely wreck your day. We're going over here for a cryopod, um, but since we just saw that Ghost Rex in McAdoo and Amara have been super helpful on this uh, today and gave us a, an RG egg that will completely be hatching. Um, probably just going to give them the, the Ghost Rex spawn costume that we just got. As just a, our, our real easy way for us to say thank you. And anything else that we got out of there that was really kind of, ah, some Rocco recipes. Interesting. Go grab one of our little cryopods here. We need a cryo fridge and a way to power it and all that kind of stuff, but we just haven't decided to go build it yet. Okay, did we just like strand ourselves sort of? Give it to Amara. Alrighty, we absolutely do that. Um, is Amara still on at the moment? Because if so, we'll just stop at her base on the way to yours. Give what to you? Ha <laughs> ha Amara, look what we killed. Yes. It was a ghost. It was a ghost, Rex. We just landed right in front of it. Been trying to find one. We've, we've found three ghost dinos so far. We found a ghost wolf, a ghost raptor, and now the ghost Rex. You have skeletal raptor and bronto. It's cool. We have skeletal raptor, skeletal carno and Skeletal Rex. I think we have the Rex. I could be wrong. But let me tell you, that Skeletal Carno was scary. 
Oh my gosh, that thing just brutalized us. We we were we were on our our fire wyvern and it did not care. It did not care. It it, it gave zero care about us. We was having to use like our, our wing gust to blow it back. We had to keep applying fire dot on it. We were really, really um, sad that we didn't have a lightning wyvern for the fight. But yeah. I just hope all the skins that we're getting for this event stay after the event goes away. I know the chibi stay, but I know I know that the candy corn, the pumpkins, the bones, uh, everything that's used to craft things, those all go. I don't think the skins go though, but. Okay. We're here causing troubles for snakes. Only because we thought we might get an egg all one. We need to hour our Sunday lunch is ready. Oh, okay. Well, cool. T Mac, enjoy your Sunday lunch, man. Hopefully, you have a good lunch. I lunch is really good. You know, I, I like food. Let's just let's just throw that up right there. But of all my meals that I like during the day, especially with the work at home thing, is lunch because I wake up at six p.m. I eat breakfast, um, and breakfast is usually some eggs and bacon and sausage, and you know, it's a very heavy protein meal. It's supposed to help keep you full for the day. But the cool thing about lunch is I eat lunch around 11 p.m., which is like everybody else's 11 a.m., right? 11 p.m., 11.30, somewhere around there. But the cool thing about it is I get to eat it with Dig Rat, and that's just, you know, a, a big thing for me, is to get to spend some time with my wife. And that's as problematic as working from home is for some people, in our, our household included. Just getting to spend that extra time that I wouldn't be able to spend with her outside of that is it's amazing um, yeah it, it is special it is special and you know there there are things that we'd like to do that we don't get to do but but we, we make do with it all right I am outside of Amara's base I, I still love the fact that Amara's base looks like something out of Game of Thrones it's it's just really awesome with like the the gates there the the anti rex protection all that now the question is where is amara oh that's a 443 griffin that's 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 a butte is what that is. In the cog building. Okay. Knock, knock, knock. Promise you I'm not a summon server. Um, well, yes, the, the eggs, and I've got the uh, ghost costume for you. There's a hatch up top. Okay. Well, we're going to go up to the hatch on top then. You can have Foxy open if she's on. She may or may not be on. It's... Uh, okay. And climb down the ladder... This is pretty cool too. 
All right, I think I'll be able to get access to this. Yes, and I can put the skin right there. Oh, here we go. So this is a level zero, level zero, level zero. Okay. Grab that. And that's pretty much everything I came for. Little feather light. I like the uh, the artifact pedestal. That's pretty cool. All right. So now go back to McAdoo's from a drop. Yeah, the the red drops. Uh, some of them have like artifact and pedestals in them. Oh, they grew up so fast. He's an adolescent. He's seventy three percent. 76%, that's great. So how overloaded are you, buddy? You're not, okay. Sweet. So what we can do then is we can just do this. And give you all the stuff that your um okay, it was just some lag. Alright, little baby dino, welcome to the Convertible Turtle Club. The first thing is your your owner has settled you with all the stuff that he doesn't want to carry on this personage. Eighty one point three percent. This is one of the things I always What was that Mac could do? Alright, you're being beckoned. Alright, T Mac, thanks for. I like the red on the baby. Oh, the red on the baby. Yeah, the, uh, like the rust kind of red color. It's definitely nice. I, I like the way she turned out. And it's kind of like that ash color. Oh, oh, thank you, T-Mac. And Turtle Club, don't forget to check out T-Mac Music. He is always found in our Turtle Television. Okay, thank you, McAdoo. But yeah, T-Mac is always available in our Turtle Television streams, guys. Just take a look in that channel on our Discord. You'll see when he is doing music. It's always some really nice, chill kind of stuff. I like the uh, the coloration on Rose, how it's like that that orange kind of, especially like in the wings where the light goes through. I wonder if does it keep the candy? Yeah, it keeps the candy color. Nice, keeps the buff. Or no, it didn't. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to try that. I, I think I actually lost all my candy color. Now that I think about it, I think this is just my. I just think this is her, her coloration. Yeah, she's lost all the bright orange. So that's unfortunate. Oh, uh, that's nice. You got rare flowers growing in your in your little enclosure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's it still looks good. One of the candies that I fed her earlier was purple, and it was very much like your armor that you have on. 
So that's the that's the thing that Shiny does though is it has stuff that will let you change the color of the dinos, and it's like rare sightings, but the benefits are it has so many interesting stuff to it. Um, number one and number two, there there I have some issues with the rare sightings mod developer. Um, the way they've done some things, I I've not really agreed with. And so it doesn't have all that baggage to it. But those would be the five mods if if this was moddable for Epic Games players to play with us. Is just those five. And I'd be fine with that. And most of those mods are super lightweight, which means it wouldn't actually reduce the amount of players that could play on the server either. Um, the only other mod I would want is something that allows for resource pooling that's not S plus or N plus or what was that again Mackadoo? Uh, oh rare flowers oh wow okay that's quite a lot of rare flowers I uh, I have no reason not to tame a, a bee now at this point. My goodness, okay, that's that's crazy. Appreciate that. I need to go over and tame the tappies on the tappy island, so I have a tappy yara. And I just learned how to make a quetzal platform saddle, so I kind of want to make a quetz uh, taming run also, but. I think I, we might Turtle Club. We might do a Quetzal Tame next Sunday because that takes a lot of gear to get ready, which isn't that difficult to do on the server. But yeah. We're so close. 98.4. 98.6 and then it just has low health but it's fine Awesome. McAdoo, thank you so much for letting me use your little hatch area. Thanks for the GG's. And now we're going to take our brand new girl home. And actually, I think where I'm going to park her at is at this other base. I'm not 100% sure. And I wouldn't swear it, but I think that's where our Pteranodon's at, or our second Pteranodon. What, pray tell, are you bright red shiny thing? Let's just oops what's going on why did you why did you dive like that why did you dive like that you shouldn't have dove like that are you on follow is that what's going on no you must be on aggressive behavior Stance, attack your target. No, we're going to put you on neutral. And you're just going to take off. We're coming over to this base for a couple of reasons. One is for scale. Oh, two is, uh, hold up. 
Here is a Cracker Jack box. Let's see what the prize inside is. All right, spears and arrows. Spears are way too heavy. Oh, appreciate that, McAdoo. do need to take a look at this base over here too. If, if we have a dino here, we need to make sure it's got plenty of food on it. And there's a blue drop, which is not all the way gone yet. That was a dumb thing for us to do. We make a lot of dumb decisions. stamina so we're gonna go all the way to the ground this is possibly where our adventure is going to unfortunately just careen off the edge all right land just 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 land are we stuck Okay, we're not stuck. We were we were thinking we might have been stuck, but we're not. Okay. Um, stamina, always stamina. You don't have as much weight as your daddy. All right, so we could park this wyvern right here. Yep, and there's Terrence. And I don't think anything's going to attack away from here. Just want to check on Terrence, see where you're at. Okay, you got plenty of food, Terrence. And that's a smoker. If we put this egg in there, it'll survive forever. If we put this egg in there, it'll survive also forever. Uh, 79 days? How long does it last in our inventory? 79 days. Okay, so we're good. We can log off here. All right, Turtle Club, I've got to go to bed. Oh, my gosh. I might am going to have a good night. Um, thank you to everybody who came in to say hi today. It has been a jam-packed episode, in my opinion. We did some crazy stuff. We did some fun stuff. We did some not-so-good stuff. Uh, but Sally, McAdoo, Shadow, T-Mac Music, Amara, Dylan Blackburn, um, Michael Wester, also known as Frosty. We've had so many people show up. And thank you all for coming in, guys. Thank you all. Be sure to check out T Mac Music and his music channel, Amara Mantis, on her YouTube channel. It is subscribed on our main channel, so you should be able to see it right on our channel page. So it'll be right there, guys. And all of you out there, uh, Shadow, Dylan, T Mac, uh, and Sally, thank you for sponsoring the channel. Oh my gosh. Um, everybody for showing up. Thank you. Um, have a good night, a good breakfast, a good lunch, a good dinner. Whatever you're about to do, Turtle Club, have a good one.
Stay safe. Wash your hands. Thanks for watching. And take care, guys.